Hello, my name's Dustin Kirkland. I'm a product manager at Google, and I'm joined here with a uh, friend and colleague of mine, Ihor Dvoretsky, who is the SIG co-chair of SIG PM and the CNCF, CNCF's uh, representation here at the conference, right? Right, yeah. Uh, my name is Ihor Dvoretsky. I'm a developer advocate at CNCF, and I'm a co-chair of SIG PM, the product management SIG within the Kubernetes community. Right, so I want to talk about SIG PM. So SIG stands for Special Interest Groups. PM is Product Management. Um, you're the co-chair. Uh, full disclosure, I've participated in that community a bit. I'd like you to tell us a little bit about the charter and the definition of that group. Sure, uh, so let's start with from, from the entire community, how Kubernetes community is formed and what are the atomic units of Kubernetes community. So SIG is a special interest group. It's a, it's a small, small unit, but a basic unit of community. So every single piece of Kubernetes is being developed by some special interest group. It can, there can be some uh, technical and uh, vertical SIGs, they are called the vertical SIGs that are focused on some specific technical error and some specific component of Kubernetes. For example, uh, if you are looking for the special interest group uh, which is developing for, the, for example, networking functionality or storage functionality. There are SIG network or SIG storage within the Kubernetes. Yeah, I find that super unique, right? I mean, it, it makes perfect sense to have uh, a special interest group working on networking or working on storage or working on uh, GPUs or accelerators. Uh, but this is a special interest work group for an open source project that's a group of product managers from lots of competing companies working on how to improve product management around Kubernetes. Right, so product management group is really a unique group within the Kubernetes community and within the entire open source world because usually open source uh, projects are simply projects but as the companies are building their own products on top of them. Uh, we have a goal of building Kubernetes as a solid product, even a fully open source that other companies, that the commercial companies, can reuse them in their product offerings. And we have multiple representatives from the multiple companies who are working together in, in this single direction. So uh, SIG PM as a product management SIG uh, was established, uh, well, it was established originally as a working group, not as a SIG, so we've been simply the group of people who've been interested in uh, working on the features and roadmap for Kubernetes, and we've developed uh, and we've established the Kubernetes uh, product management working group around two years ago. And actually, some Google representatives were one of the one of the initiators of uh, of of, of, the, of this drive. What do you see as the key output of this group? So the key output for us is uh, driving the features and developing the solid roadmap for Kubernetes for, for the New Year's time, for the New Year's year, probably for the next few years. And uh, the, another output is to uh, provide some solid information for the end users and for the vendor companies who will reuse Kubernetes for their purposes. So just like product management at any one of our independent companies, Google, Microsoft, any of the other contributors, uh, but for the community, for the right. CNCF community. Exactly. So we have two major touch points. We, from one side, we are speaking with the end user community, with the people who are really using it and consuming it. And from the other side, we are working closely with the technical teams who are developing some functionality. So we are, as the CPM, we are simply the proxy between the end users, between vendors, between their uh, service providers that are building some services or products on top of Kubernetes, and the technical groups who are developing some functionality for Kubernetes and within Kubernetes. Yeah, this is a fascinating project, and I, I hope that if this group is successful, we'll see similar groups emerge around other open source projects. Ihor, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.